Asanteni sana kwanza kabisa nataka niseme ya kwamba sisi wote ambao mnatuona hapa tulishikwa wengine walishikwa on Monday uh, last week mimi nilishikwa on Tuesday pamoja na 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 wengine wetu hapa na tuliwekwa katika cell ambaye inasemwa kwamba ni false imprisonment kwa sababu hatukuambiwa ni kwa nini tulishikwa na tukapelekwa mahali tofauti tofauti hapa nchini Kenya kama unashikwa hapa Jomo Kenyatta International Airport inafaa upelekwe the nearest police station ambayo iko hapo airport mimi walinitoa kutoka airport saa tatu usiku wamenifunga pingu kwa mkono kisha wakanifunga macho kwa kutumia kitambaa black alafu wakaniingiza ndani ya boot sasa kama mimi ni uh, member of parliament ndio mna deal na mimi hivi sasa wale ambao sio wabunge mnawafanyia nini nataka kuambia polisi serikali inakuja na serikali inaenda sasa hizi ni msimu nyingine 2027 kutakuwa na another cycle you don't have to mistreat Kenyans these are the people you took oath to protect their lives and to defend them the same people you are killing you are destroying their lives you are injuring i want to tell you that if you are receiving the same salary as the police then it is so shameful if this government hasn't increased your salary as the police and you are fighting this spiritedly it's like you the police you are the people who contested vied in this election it is very shameful some of the police officers you are killing your own relatives you are injuring your own relatives among those people who have died i know they are your relatives there why do you destroy your own why do you use uh, brute force on kenyans who are harmless on kenyans whose mistake is just to be poor kenyans whose mistake is just that they don't have something to eat they don't have jobs that is the only mistake these kenyans have committed and i can tell you that you need to learn from what happened from some of your fellow officers how they've been treated in this current regime the same will apply to you and i'm telling you for every other police officer who is mistreating us we are marking you we are noting you we will do the same thing you are doing to us and i'm telling you we will do the same things you are doing to us you stole our phones our phones haven't been released up to now why am i saying stealing because you took our phones without our consent and that is stealing so we want our phones the court has ordered that our phones be released immediately i don't know what you are doing with our phones those are private that's that's a private property i'm a member of parliament i need to serve my people i haven't communicated from tuesday to today how do you want me to serve my people how do you want them to reach me how do you want me to reach them so the police be warned be warned because you can't kill all kenyans and this is the time that kenyans are hungry and are angry if they don't have food to eat they will eat you so to ruto you did say that you don't entertain extrajudicial killings what are you doing you did say that you will not allow the police to use misuse and abuse the rights of the kenyan citizens what are you doing you are the person who is giving the orders you keep on blaming raila molo dinga talking even mentioning that how much blood does he need he does not need any blood you are the one who needs blood you are the one who is ordering the police to kill citizens to shoot citizens raila does not command the police you are the one who is commanding them and giving instructions for them to be killed so don't ask how much blood raila needs ask how much blood do you need we are ready to give you blood the much that you need you don't even need to come for those bloods from us we will bring blood to you 
because we want to make it easier for you. So we ask you, Ruto, how much blood do you need? Is it not enough for you? And I can tell you, there's a time in 207, you were in opposition. You were fighting for the rights of Kenyans. Where did that Ruto go to? What are we seeing now? And I advised your spouses to pray for you people. We don't want prayers from State House. We don't want prayers from any of your wives. Let those prayers be directed to you and your deputy. You need more prayers than Kenyans. Thank you. <laughs> that the trial court is not sitting. But we shall be making a small application that uh, there are funds which form part of the banking sector be released to them if the investigating officer has no objection to that. And we can take a mission date next week before the trial court. Mr. Kach will conclude on one issue. Uh, there is that issue of the funds, and uh, I, especially the seventh accused person, he uses the phone to act as, a, as a means of earning a living, and uh, we got confirmation that uh, they have already uh, finished checking on the forms. <coughs> and as such, there will be no reason to continue with holding the forms. But secondly, Your Honor, and most importantly, Your Honor, is that uh, we raised an issue before your brother about uh, the, the, the physical assault of the second accused person. And Your Honor, we, we, are, uh, we were told to get, Your Honor, an OB 
we report it to Kinelesha police station where he was held. And your honor, the prosecution indicated, that is on Friday last week, that they will even facilitate this process. Your honor, and quite, quite unfortunately, and as we had intimated, your honor, the second accused person went to Kileleshwa on Monday, your honor, yesterday. And your honor, they declined to even record the said complaints on the OB. Despite an undertaking before this court that that will be facilitated. <coughs> Your Honor, we had indicated that we'll be filing a formal application pursuant to the assault in this court. We have not been able to file that because of this small hitch. But we will be able to file it, Your Honor, immediately, even without that OB issue. So I will be requesting that this matter be mentioned. We'll file it today. But this matter be mentioned at the earliest before the Chief Magistrate, having dealt with this issue at its preliminary stage, so that he can give directions on that very important aspect of why a Kenyan can be battered when he's in police custody pursuant to a court order. It's a very serious application. The funds are released, at least the prosecution will have given a positive gesture despite the issues we are raising. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, for the father, this person has just hinted to me that it has not been released for him to check the car. The state can also respond on that. And for the first this person, the third, the third accused person, it's the, the car keys. And if, if the police are not intending to use the car as an exit, it can be released to him. And lastly, for the first accused person, is a, is a member of the National Assembly, communication by the speaker and parliamentary business is transacted by the phone. So he has told me that he is totally immobilized. For the benefit of the state, for now we shall be making a, an application for review of the charges. Probably beyond that time I'll be the one deciding that. But for now, We'll be making that application to the one in that office. I might be disqualified <laughs> for the interview that I've already started taking side. For now, they're on that side. <laughs> but they should know how to handle it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I do confirm that the matter was coming today for mention for pre trial. Mm -hmm. We are here to supply documents and statements which the state will rely on to the accused person. Your Honor, on the issues of the mobile phones. For the accused persons, the same are undergoing forensic examination. I understand from the I.O. who is before court that the phone of the first accused person should be available today and the state undertakes to make available the mobile phones once forensic examination is done. You know, with regard to the issue of the assault of the second accused person, you know, that complaint was recorded by the trial court on record. And unfortunately, the DPP does not have supervisory powers over the National Police Service. and you cannot direct them to receive a complaint. You can only direct them to investigate. Your Honor, there is the Independent Police Oversight Authority with a mandate to receive complaints from members of the public. 
I believe my senior Mr. Okach knows the process in which a party makes a complaint before I pour. of his motor vehicle which is detained at industrial area, we can have summons to issue to the OCS industrial area to appear in court and explain the status under which he is holding the motor vehicle of the third accused person. As I believe it's not part of the investigations and the case before you. You know, you can have a mention before the trial court to confirm supply of documents and also the status of the third accused motor vehicle. You know. <coughs> Then I believe uh, with my. Why can't you just file anywhere, anywhere? Or unless you insist, it must enter into the OB of Kilelesha. But my finding, and I wish to direct, you file the complaint anywhere, including and not limited to I four. Yes. and um, uh, first accused mobile phone to be released to him before close of business summons to issue to OCS industrial area to explain as to why third accused motor vehicle is held in the station further all other accused mobile phones to be released as soon as the forensic or cyber analysis is completed the second accused is at liberty to raise his report in uh, in any other police station within jurisdiction of Kilimani sub county if Kileleshwa police station is reluctant to taking his report, the matter shall be mentioned on 3rd of August before the trial court. Is 3rd August? Until that, are we done for the day?